This is T Intermediate Math 3, and we're just going to continue on with the examples. So, what's 70%? Uh, wait, 70% of what number is 320? Hmm. Well, let's just write it out mathematically. Um, that's going to be a number, which I'm just going to label N, times 0.7, 70%, equals 320. Correct? Well, you can just quite literally divide that 0.7 across to get what N equals. 320 divided by 0.7. Just do your long division, you'll have 4, 5, and 7. Magically. Alright, so what is the fractional equivalent of 6.25%? Okay, well, let's start off with something we know. Uh, the percent is kind of holds the secret, you know, per cent. So per cent, cent in Greek stands for 100, so per 100. Thus, 6.25% could essentially be said to be 6.25 over 100. But this is an improper form. We can't have it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both top and bottom by 100 to move that decimal point over two spaces to the right. So what happens is when I multiply the top and bottom by 100, you'll find that it's 625 all over essentially 10,000. But when you start seeing fives and zeros next to each other, that's when I start thinking, okay, I can really simplify this stuff out. So, I mean, I at first I would divide this by, well, I can see that I, you can divide it by 25, but we can do it by 5, dividing by 5, by 5, And that will be 125 over 2,000. We'll do it again. And you get 25 over 400. Keep going. 5 over 80. And once again, 1 over 16th. And that's your final solution. It's 1 16th. So, don't feel like you have to simplify it with big old numbers all so quickly. What you can do is you just pick something that you can see right off the bat. I saw five right away. So um, let's finish off with a little airplane uh, problem. A plane took off at 7:30 a.m. and landed at 3:22 p.m. How long did the flight take? Well, basically, what I always like to do is I like to convert. Um, the PM times to military style. So basically, um, you add 12 to them. Therefore, uh, 322 will go to 1522. It makes the math a lot easier, and you can it becomes more intuitive at that point. So basically, you just deal with the hours first. I would deal with the hours first and then compensate with the minutes later. So uh, what you'll find is you have 15 minus 7 equals 8 hours. That's a good estimate, but what about the minutes? The minutes, we started off with... 730, 30 minutes, right? And it has to go to 22 minutes. So this is essentially saying that we need to lose, this is like saying we need to lose 8 minutes from our 8 hour estimate. 
to get where we actually are. And that's actually a, a, a time uh, based math trick that a lot of people use. So, so eight hours minus essentially eight minutes, which if you do eight hours minus eight min, you'll find that that equals seven hours and fifty two minutes. It's important just to break it down into bite-sized issues, you know. I, I couldn't do the whole thing at once, so I did hours, then I did minutes, then I just made sure everything lined up. So uh, that's the end of Intermediate Math, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.